All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. And that's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and the Lashwan Kodash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father. And Yahweh means He is. He is to be. He exists. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means he is the Savior. He is the Deliverer. Bahashem in the name. Raka Kwadash is the Holy Spirit. I want to give a double honors to the apostles, to the bishops and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to you, Akim, uh, to you brothers that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity. Shalom to the Akim Wa Athwats. Peace and blessings to the uh, brothers and sisters that may be tuning in, studying, and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. This is the brother Taz of War, Bon Aparium from the GMS Boston Camp, back with a quick lesson through the spirit, and I pray everything's edifying. And as you see on the screen, I have from endtimeheadlines.org, it says, Russia deploying air and sea assets for military exercises in Caribbean, according to U.S. officials. See, and this is uh, uh, wars and rumors of wars. These uh, uh, Russia is gearing up, man. This is, the Lord got the, the the spirit into Vladimir Putin and and, and the the Kremlin and uh, these uh, militaries to get prepared for 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 war, man. Because that's the time that we're in. You know, we're in the time of 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 war and of of not of peace, a time of hate, and not and not of love, man. And it behooves you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. It's time to take heed to the warning from the servants, the prophets. Fear Yahweh Bashem Shai ultimately and repent, man, and try to 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 be found worthy, uh, to be on his Yahweh's good side, man. Ultimately, it starts with repenting and 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 fearing the Lord, uh, having faith and trusting in His servants, the prophets. You know that He set up men. To, to speak his message, you know, and and, and, and be uh, occupied in prophecy, you know, being prudent, as the scriptures say, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself, you know, but the wicked, uh, uh, foolish, or, or roughly paraphrasing, I'll get into that scripture, Lord's will, but yeah, the times that we're in is is is, is what Yahweh Shai uh, left uh, for his disciples as signs and wonders. Of his his second coming and the end of the world or the end of an age of Esau Edom the so-called white man's biblical nationalities rulership man or his heaven man and these are indicators and signs that we are at the end man so before um, I can get into this article I'm gonna start off with Luke 21 and it reads uh, Luke 21 and 7 and they asked him saying master but when shall these things be and what sign will there be when all when when these things shall come to pass? And this is similar to Matthew 24, chapter verse three and on down. Uh, and he said, verse eight, and he said, take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. But here's the point, verse nine. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then he said unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence in fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. See, so these are again uh, indicators, time, uh, uh, signs and wonders of, of, of the end times, man. And it's wars and commotions, wars and rumors of wars, you know, kingdom against kingdom. Again, the sentiment of these rulers are, are ultimately being prepared for war because the Lord uh, uh, is, is the, 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 the one pulling the strings. He's controlling the minds of, the, uh, of these presidents or rulers or, you know, uh, uh, military defense officials, so on and so forth. So uh, let me get uh, Proverbs, what is it, um, Proverbs 21 
and one, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. So the king's heart, which is the Lahab in the Hebrew, which is the mind. So the Lord is controlling these rulers, these presidents, the ayatollahs, so on and so forth to ultimately to fulfill Yahweh Bashem Yahushua's will, man. You know, it says man's goings is of the Lord. It's the, the, the chapter before that. Uh, Proverbs 20 and 24, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? See, so he's the one pulling the strings. He's the one on the chess piece, on the chessboard, uh, uh, maneuvering both sides uh, of the board, man. So he's in control. Up to When I say he, I'm talking about Yahweh. You know, by Shem Yahweh Shah is in, the, in control of all these uh, 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 rulers being prepared for war. Because that's the sentiment. It's ultimately to fulfill his will. And, and for Russia to deploy uh, air and sea assets, of military exercise in the Caribbean, hey, that's in the backyard of America, man. So, you know, the, 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 the U.S. better not take this lightly or, 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 or disregard this, man. But ultimately, this is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because uh, uh, the U.S. is Babylon, according to the scriptures. And that's who Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has a bullseye for. He's going to bring destruction on Babylon the Great, man. So all these things must come to pass, man. And again, the Lord uh, left these signs and wonders and he got his servants, the prophets, giving you this warning to take heed, man, that World War Three is inevitable. Uh, doom and gloom is at hand, you know, because it's prophetic. So it behooves you to get right because we're one step closer to the end, man. You know, the beginning of sorrows is, is going to take place. And ultimately, when World War Three, when some missiles are shot from one end to the earth, it's going to utterly destroy America, man. You know, but hey, these these are these are the um uh, the beginning steps. That's leading to this big conflict. So let's get into the article. EndTimeHeadlines.org. Russia deploying air and sea assets for military exercises in Caribbean, according to the U.S. official. Russia is preparing to deploy aircraft and combat naval vessels to the Caribbean to conduct military exercises in the coming weeks. Its first exercises in the Western Hemisphere involving both air and sea activity in five years, a senior administration official told McClatchy and the Miami Herald. Hey, and I use this um, <clears throat> analogy with, you know, with these uh, when they do exercises or deployments or st strategic drills. You, you, I use the analogy of just a, a sports team, whether it's basketball, football, baseball. You know, before they have a big game or a big, you know, matchup, they always do practices. They scrimmage. They do, you know, they, 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 they do shoot arounds. That's ultimately them practicing to perfect to make sure that they're they're on their uh, a one game when once the once um once the the, the game takes place, and it's similar. How the Lord has these militaries, uh, these other nations doing joint military drills or deployments and uh, 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 exercises. It's ultimately they're getting prepared for the battle, man. And that ultimate battle is World War Three, man. Again, the Lord put in the hearts of these kings and rulers to get prepared for war because we're in that time, man. Real quick, we'll get Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, and I'll start from the first verse, but then I'll jump to the eighth. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 To everything there's a season and a time to every purpose under the sun, uh, under the heaven Excuse me And I'm going to jump down to verse 8 A time to love and a time to hate A time of war and a time of peace So we're, right now we're in the time of hate and a time of war We're not in the time of love, peace and happiness And that just shows the balance of the Heavenly Father Because people, uh, the sentiment or Not the sentiment, but they, they, they think that God is only all love or, or who they call their Lord and Savior is only love, love, love. That's a false balance. You know, real quick, since I said that, uh, Proverbs 11 and 1, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. So this is why the times that we're in, we're in the time of hate and a time of, of war. And that's a, 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 a just weight, man. You know? It's not all love or peace, man. And this is why it behooves you to 
Well, that's why the scripture says, blessed is he that readeth, or, or to, um, to measure the time diligently in self, to be circumspect, to know what time we're in, man, because the days are evil, troubling times are coming. I know I'm all over the place, but hey, it's all through the spirit. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse, uh, I'll start at verse 14, wherefore he said, awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Yahweh Shai shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And it's talking about these latter days. The times that are coming are bad times, evil, of war, of, of I read it in, again in Luke, uh, uh, earthquakes in diverse places, famines, pestilence. This is all of plagues that the Lord, Yahweh Shah, is going to bring upon the earth that he's being ordained from Yahweh to, 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 to fulfill. This is his will. The Lord said in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, that he was going to bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, before, because wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. It didn't say that the Lord was going to bring peace, uh, happiness, uh, build back up and keeping America great again. No. The times that we're in in these latter days is of doom and gloom, of evil, as I read. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Verse 17, wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. See, so you don't want to be uh, unwise and not understanding that these things that's taking place is of the will of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. And he's going to bring wars uh, ultimately to, 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 to show his vengeance, to show his indignation, his righteous anger, man. So that's the time we're in, man. So let's get back into the article again. Russia deploying air and sea assets for military exercises in Caribbean, according to the U.S. official. I'm going to jump down to the second. Well, I left off at the second paragraph. The Biden administration is not expressing concern over the deployment with the official stating it poses no direct threat to the United States. But the administration believes Moscow intends to use the exercises as a messaging tactic after President Joe Biden gave Ukraine permission last week to fire U.S. made weapons across its border into Russia to defend its territory. See? Yeah, man. Yeah, you better have your, uh, your antennas up, you know, because ultimately uh, Putin ain't playing. Yeah, they're trying to use these smooth words saying, oh, yeah, don't take it as a threat. You know, but you in you in the U.S. backyard and ultimately, hey, good riddance, man. America and military has set up, you know, uh, embassies and base and garrisons throughout the whole world. And they act like they can have that be that big, bad bully and just, you know, do whatever they want with no retribution or no repercussions. So but now it's time for 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 Babylon to receive uh, uh, um, judgment, man. So they better have their antennas up, man. You know, it's good. This this is a messaging tactic. You know, this is ultimately a warning and threats, man. Because Joe Biden and the U.S. again, they're funding uh, Ukraine well, weapons to ultimately uh, uh, help Ukraine try to destroy or, or defend the territory against Russia, man. So pretty much, you chose a side, and Russia ain't playing. Russia is not playing, man. Putin's not playing. You know, so hey, now they're in your back, they're in your backyard, you know. And for those that say, oh, well, were you here in America and you're saying World War Three is going to come and, you know, they're going to shoot missiles and America's going to be destroyed. Or what, what are you guys going to do? How are you guys going to avoid the destruction of America or destruction that comes around the world? For those that are the elect that's all around the world, you know, I pray that I'm part of that hopeful elect. You know, we believe through the spirit and power of Yahweh as the scripture says, the elect are going to be beamed up, beamed up in the chariot. They're going to be delivered from the chaos and the uh, uh, um, the anarchy that's coming to America. They're going to be in a chariot or a whirlwind or a wheel within a wheel, what the world calls now a UFO. But we know those as the chariots of the Most High. The elect are going to have that aerial view. That skybox view that's looking down on the destruction of America, man. You know? So this is why it's important to ultimately fear Yahweh Hashem Shai, but trust him and have faith that he's going to deliver what, you know, what he promised, man. But uh, as a job now still here on, on, on this earth, we have to give you warning as a prophet. Because that's the job of a prophet. Real quick. <coughs> uh, Jeremiah. 
28 and uh, 8. Matter of fact, I'll start at verse 7. Jeremiah 28, verse 7. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thy ears and the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So that's the job of a prophet, prophesying against many countries of great king, against great kingdoms of war. This is a major war that's coming. It's a war to end all war that's prophesied in the scriptures of evil and pestilence. And that's what's coming throughout the world. And mainly Babylon, the great a.k.a. America, is going to receive the, the, the huge effects of, of the outcome uh, 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 when these uh, prophecies be fulfilled, man. You know, so that's the job of a prophet. We're here to give you warning that doom and gloom is inevitable. You know, World War Three is, is, is at hand. Uh, Revelations... 11 and 14 and it reads the second woe is past and behold the third woe cometh quickly now we know the word woe is destruction death you know when this scriptures is referring to world war one world war two is past but behold the third war or uh, woe cometh quickly the third world war is coming it's at hand and we see again these steps these power moves are being uh, uh, uh in position Ultimately, to 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 fulfill Yahweh Bashem Yahushai's will, you know this is why, it's, as I read, you cannot be uh, unwise and not understanding the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. The stage is being set for for uh, this third world war, man, and it cometh quickly, you know, and it's going to lead to the destruction of Babylon the Great, man, A.K.A. America. Real quick, let me get uh Joel three and nine. And it reads, uh, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, let the weak say I am strong, assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about, thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full. The fats overflow, for their wickedness is, gr is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. See? See? So the Lord... Hold on. Uh, Salakia, uh, proclaim me this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men. See, so so the Lord got the, the, the spirit into these other nations to be prepared for war. You know, and getting rid of, it, it says, uh, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. You know, these are uh, pruning hooks and plowshares. These are farming agricultural tools, man. And it's saying, now it's time to invest into your military arsenal, you know, and that's what's going on. As you see, again, the Russia deploying air and sea assets for military exercising, they're getting prepared for war. And that's the, again, the sentiment of these leaders out in the East. They're preparing their people that war is coming. But here in America, you know, you got you, you got leaders, you know, just uh, uh, pushing out fluff and, and 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 folly, distractions, not preparing the masses of an upcoming war, and this is why the, uh, the it says in the scripture the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night because people are not uh, prepared for for the doom and gloom that's coming, man. You know, but hey, we're here to give you that warning. You know, that's that's our job. We the Lord has set forth watchmen. What's that? In Second Ezra's Salakia. Yeah. Matter of fact, um, Ezekiel thirty-three. Yep, Ezekiel thirty-three and um, and, uh, verse two. Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, and if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. If when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow up the trumpet and warn the people. And that watchman is a prophet of the Lord, man. I read the the, the duty on the task of a job of a prophet. You know, we, we 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 give you the warning and we're telling you we're blowing the trumpet again that the the, the sword of Yahweh Shemal Shai is coming, man. War, evil, 
pestilence, famine, Jacob's trouble, the uh, the MOTB is going to be made uh, mandatory. We, you know, do doom and gloom is coming, and it behooves you to get right and repent while the the doors of mercy, that grace period is still open upon you, man. You know, but hey, we're one step closer. Again, war is inevitable, and Russia ain't playing. It's all biblical, man. It's Isaiah thir thirteen. So lucky. Isaiah 13 and uh, verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the meads against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bowls also shall dash the young men to pieces and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. So the meads is talking about here is Russia. They, Russia, they occupying the land of the Medians or the meads at, at, at the moment. You know, and it shows that it says their bows shall dash the young men into pieces. And that bows is referring to the, the the arrows, man. You know, the modern day arrows here are talking about the ICBM missiles, man. And they're gonna they're gonna destroy Babylon the Great, man. And it's gonna tell you that in verse 19, in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees excellency shall be when the most high overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And we know Sodom and Gomorrah. Was destroyed by, by fire and brimstone from the sky And this is similar to the judgment of Babylon New, This Babylon, uh, 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 not ancient Babylon This is prophetic, it's referring to America And how it says the Medes are going to shoot their bows And dash uh, the young men You know, have no pity upon the womb Or, or spare not little children Them arrows is, is them ICBM missiles so the same way that Sodom and Gomorrah got overthrown and destroyed by fire and brimstone from the sky, it's going to be the same way how Babylon is going to receive the same judgment, but it's going to be by them arrows, by them thermonuclear missiles, man. You know, and we're again, we're one step closer because this is what they're, they're, the drills for. This is what the, um, the, the exercises and deployment is for. They're getting prepared. They're doing their scrimmages. They're practicing. They're making sure their their jump shot is on point. You see what I'm saying? Using that uh, basketball analogy of practices and scrimmaging, they're 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 doing these military drills to ultimately to be prepared and ready for the that that big dreadful day. Ultimately, it's gonna happen when Yahweh Bashim Yahushai ordains it, man. But it's the Lord is showing the you know. Those that is up to know that have this light and wisdom that we're one step closer. So this is why it say uh, uh, um, to be occupied in prophecy. Well, let me get that real quick and I close out. Ecclesia, Ecclesiasticus thirty nine, I believe. Yep, Ecclesiasticus thirty nine and one. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecy. And that's how important uh, to be in, in these latter days, man, to be occupied in prophecy, to be measuring measuring the time diligently in itself, man. Blessed is he that readeth, you know. Blessed is he that watcheth and give warning as a job as, as, as a, a job of a prophet, a servant of Yahweh Shem Shai, who has the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. We're supposed to give you warning, man. We have this light. We're supposed to continue to let that light shine before men, women, and child, children. And it's for you Israelites to take heed to, to ultimately to repent. And we know once the elect are sealed, then the end is coming. But this is that gospel that's going to have to be preached throughout the world. Not of, of Jesus and of love and prosperity and, and God loves everybody And you know our Lord and Savior Who the world called Jesus Christ Is a so-called white man Nah, that's not the gospel Gospel is the, is the true names of the Most High Is Yahweh, is only begun saying Yahweh Shai And, and they're so-called black men Dark with white woolly hair And they're coming with the sword To bring destruction and judgment upon Babylon And judgment upon uh, uh, Esau, Edom and the elect of Israel, the remnant, the 144,000 governing body, including the one third, the elect of Israel are going to be delivered, you know. See that, and, and they, that, that's the true gospel. Let me get it. Let me close out with this. I get back into plantation. Matthew 24. Uh, Matthew 24 and uh, verse 13. 
And it reads, but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And verse 14 has the point, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all of the world for a witness until all nations, and then shall the end come. See, so the Lord left these signs and wonders, these clues with, with time that we're in, but we, hey, we're one step closer. These drills, these uh, uh, exercises, this deployment is to set the stage up for World War III, and, and it's prophesied that Russia is going to get busy. These other nations are going to shoot their arrows all on, on a common enemy. That common enemy is Babylon, the great AKA America. And that's the lake of fire that John the Revelator seen. And many prophets, whether it's Joel, whether it's uh, Mal uh, Malachi, Isaiah, uh, uh, Jeremiah, Ezra, they seen the destruction of America, Babylon the great by them arrows. And them arrows is referring to ICBM missiles. And that's how it's, America is going to be destroyed, man. Thus say Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai through the spirit and, you know, and, and through the mouthpiece of the servants, the prophets, man. So with that, man, I pray everything was edifying. Again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth and peace. And, and say, uh, uh, peace and blessings to the Bayaf Dawadah. That's the house of David the elect. Until next time, I want to say Shalom.